Yeah. This was probably a night where there was going to be a big crowd. Your team was going to have to bring their own bit of energy to, to get going. How would you assess their ability to do that tonight? Well, I thought they were amazing. Uh, but I will say this. I was impressed with the crowd. You know, I mean, you drove here. I drove here. I mean, it's, it's bad. I mean, it's as bad as I've, I've, I've seen. I, I thought it was going to be like a COVID crowd. You know, it was only really small, and and you really had to create the atmosphere, and it was all created by the guys on the bench. Uh, but we had the band, and we had the people that came. They were they were fired up, and, and they made an impact. So I, I was I was really pleased with that under the circumstances. And uh, but I, you are right. I mean, the energy level right at the start was was crucial. We get a big lead, then we had a little scoring drought. It's a really good team we beat, uh, incredibly well coached, and, and you knew they were going to come back, and they did. Uh, but then we had another spurt, and then I thought, you know, our zone was really good to us, obviously, coming down the stretch. Tony with 15 assists, I mean, what is he doing? Yeah, you know, it, you, you look at him, and obviously he's a terrific player, and uh, we have sort of, Thought long and hard, okay, do we want to give him the ball? Or do we want to let him, you know, rip and drive out of the two guard, run the, get out on the break, throw it ahead to him, let him attack, and kind of let him go get buckets and go make plays, you know, from that position. And I just felt like he's a guy that you can give him the ball, and you can trust him to run your offense, and he understands the game. And I think we've all seen him grow in that position. Uh, when I put him in the starting lineup two years ago, you know, we put Bohanna back at the point, so he didn't have that pressure. And then he always had Connor with him, uh, and that was a factor. But I said, look, man, I'm giving you the ball. And, you know, let's go. And he is one competitive guy, and, and I'm really proud of him. 15-2, that's pretty impressive. What is? I guess, what is just working for you guys right now? And what, why do you think things are clicking? Well, we're, we have a very unselfish group. You know, you think, okay, 13 is 30 assists on 35 field goals. But what that means is we're moving the ball and finding open people. We had 15 threes. We got, you know, I've always said we have really good shooters. Sometimes you don't shoot it well. Uh, and that happens. But you're not going to shoot it well if you don't get open shots. And we moved the ball and shared the ball and got open shots. What was the key to kind of getting them to play kind of your style of game here? Well, I think the start of the game uh, and continuing to push the ball, uh, they're pretty tough when they stack their defense. So if, if you walk it up and let them stack their defense, they're hard to score on. They are. And so we try to get as much free-flowing ac action and transition as we could. Talk about the night by Josh Jake hit some big shots, I think five threes tonight. He was spectacular in every facet. I mean, he plays the point, he plays the off guard position, he can play small forward, he rebounds the ball, he really is a good defender. He is one tough guy. Uh, yeah, I've been saying, uh, I got to find more playing time for him, and I did. And unfortunately, it was at the expense of some other people who I also want to find playing time for. But uh, he, was, he was absolutely spectacular. Is there an update on Patrick? It wasn't a good one. He's in a training room right now. Uh, and we'll see how he feels tomorrow. Try to, you know, get the ice on it right away, keep it elevated, and try to keep the swelling down if we can. Was it ankles? Ankle, yeah. He was good today. I mean, he did, he did a lot of good He was really there. good. His, his energy level at the start of the game at both ends was terrific. He did get gassed. So that's when I, I went to Dix first and got him out of there. But every time I put him in, he was effective, you know, 12 points, five rebounds, two assists. He had some really nice uh, passes, but he also got out of the break, got some buckets for us when we needed it. You guys started 0-3 in the Big Ten. Now you're almost at 500. Um, how do you feel like you guys have been able to kind of weather that? We just stayed the course. You know, we lost to really good teams. You know, uh, obviously losing at Purdue, at Wisconsin, two really good teams. At Michigan, they're a handful. We didn't play great against them. But we learned a lot, and I think that's what you have to do. You go on three. What did you learn? What do you have to correct? And I can get better. And we did. How rare? Is, Owen. How rare is three double levels for your team? It's very rare, you know. But again, six guys in doubles. Uh, 
with three guys with, with double doubles, that's that's typically going to equate to a victory. Owen misses the dunk, but pretty much everything else seemed to. <laughs> miss much else. Yeah, yeah I, I thought, uh, you know, for a freshman, you know, his feel for the game, his feel for the flow, and every game is different, as you know, and, and, and he just, he impacts the game at both ends. Uh, you know, for the most part, he's been able to stay out of foul trouble, which is not often the case for young big guys. You know, they, they get over anxious, and especially guys that are shot blockers like he is. We need him on the floor.